Atreus Monk here, playing some more Pillars of Eternity. Now, we're going to go ahead and go to the inn, because we want to sell some stuff and, oh, let's everybody go right. this way. No need to be in scouting mode right now. At least there shouldn't be a need to be in scouting mode. I don't think anybody's going to ambush us. Okay, let's talk to the innkeep here. Welcome. <laughs> ah, it isn't by choice, I assure you. We used to serve some of the finest meals in the deer wood. We've had a damnable run of luck, is all. It's a bad season for the crops, and we're running low on supplies. I sent Tenfrith up north to stock up. Tenfrith's our cook, you see, an artist with a good roast. But it's been days since he was supposed to return, and we haven't seen any sign of him. I've only just taken over from the last owner myself. I don't know what I'll do if he doesn't turn up. I could try and find him for you. Really? I'd be grateful to you if you did. He was traveling through the Vale Wood. It's probably nothing. A broken wheel, maybe, but I do worry. Let's see what you have for sale. Because we totally need camping supplies. But we're also gonna, you know, get rid of some of this junk here. care about this mace. Random cape, who cares? Ah oh, yes, Brother Edric. No Retrix Obraka will not approve. Keep the pry bar. I don't know if that'll be useful or not. Or hammer. Yeah, I saw that saber. Sell some of these books. I mean, they might be useful. It's possible. But, I'm not going to worry too much about him. Uh, if you look in like the stash, we've already got. That's four, that's six. That's a five one. Okay, so we'll trade those. Yeah, we could buy a level two adventurer. Have more party members. Um, no. And... Let's go with the Deerwood's Pride. I'm not sure how long those buffs last. Maybe it's until the next rest? Merchant's Stay, resting bonus. <laughs> Okay, well, we know where Tenfrith is. We know very well where Tenfrith is. We tried to, we actually tried to save him before we even knew who he was. But we failed. We, we died miserably because it was mm -hmm. only the one of us at the time. to the Veilwood. Yes. We will take the eight-hour journey. So this week's session is my first session with... Yeah, that's where that bandit camp was. And then we also need to go up to the bear cave. 
but go ahead nice and slow Let's see. Nope, that's not a very big AoE. What about the blinding? Nope. The webbing? Yeah. Hi? Ah, thick work. Get him, you dogs. Make sure our new cook don't run off. Uh huh. Aw, Tenfrith is hostile. Why is Tenfrith hostile? Hold on. We're gonna load the quick save. Cause we might have screwed things up trying to ambush them. Axe collection, completion of side adventures. Sure. Keeping quiet. Oh, come on. Double time it. Okay, see, now he's not, now he's not active there. What is, what is he, what are you trying to do? Yell first. <laughs> okay. Probably gonna rest pretty soon -ish after this. Yeah. because of that archer. Um, use your little watch and... Alright. Target's destroyed then. Oh my goodness. Hunting bow, dagger, dagger, hatchet, small shield, armor, 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 cape, hood, mat, mat, money. Talk to Tail and well met. By the flame, thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought I'd be stuck cooking for these ignorant weasels for the rest of my life. Or until they were bored with me, I suppose. Did Pasca send you? She must be beside herself. I must get back at once. But listen, the next time you're in Gilded Vale, make sure to drop by the Black Hound. I'll let her know what you've done for me, and I'm sure she'll do right by you in turn. Oh, to be back at my oven again. Yeah, Gilded Vale's gonna like me a lot.
Also, pick up some fruit. the wall, examine it more closely. Given the right tools, one might easily reach the top. No. Aloff can't. Oh, Edder has not had enough athletics. I think we can't take the camping supplies because we already have four. Fulvano's Gloves. Reflex plus five, and a scrawled letter. I do not think you will ever see this, but you were right, Fulvano. We should have journeyed south together and been safer for it. I would tolerate all the gloating in the world if I might live to hear it. I have put myself out of reach of the beasts circling below, but I am done for all the same. I do not think I will rise again. Whoever finds this, pray for me. Perhaps in the next life, I shall be a trapper of wolves. Let's take the note. Well, I'm down. Okay. Uh, head up toward the bear cave. Laying low. I know technically that the game like auto saves when you do a transition, but I still want a quick save there. and try to knock the bear down. You... Roar. Come deal with this one. Alright. Dead bear. Not so hard when there's, you know, four people around. Now we've got a bear hide. Sure. What else is here? We've got like a little cave coral. Cave coral. Mice crawl through the eye sockets and femurs. And there's a great sword in a chest. Mm. And we're going to delve into this man's soul. Lost spirit. A figure drifts suspended in the air of the in the musty air of the cavern. Its form and features blur and twist in cascading ripples of incandescence. You feel its energy eddying about your limbs, filling them with a heavy chill. Reach out. 
You reach out a hand for the spirit. In the moment of contact, you feel as if you have been struck a blow, head reeling as you tumble helplessly into a waiting darkness. Light blooms at the edge of your vision. You feel the sun at your back and the weight of a bow in your hand. You know suddenly that you have come a long way from the Vale hunting deer. Now you are standing before a cavern and the darkness extends far into its depths. Even so, a friend strides out before you, his red cloak flapping at his heels. You follow, heart hammering in your chest as he leads you deeper into the cavern. And uh, folks, I gotta go get the door real quick. I'll be right back. And I'm back deeper into the cavern. There is a roar like thunder echoing around you. Fear seizes you, casts you stumbling back towards the exit, towards light and escape. You see a glint of steel, and there is a sudden terrible flash of agony behind your knee. You scream, stumble, fall. Your thoughts are chaos, lanced through with pain, but in a moment of terrible clarity, you see your friend look back from the mouth of the cavern, his dagger daubed in crimson to match his cloak. Ah, dang it. Okay. I apparently also got a work call. So, fun. Be right back. And I'm back again. Your thoughts are chaos, lanced through with pain, but in a moment of terrible clarity, you see your friend look back from the mouth of the cavern, his, da the cavern, his dagger daubed in crimson to match his cloak. And then there is a great dark shape above you, and then there is more pain. The vision recedes, and you are thrown back into yourself with seemingly resentful force. The corpse lies at your feet, and the specter lingers. In the span of energy between you both, you feel a sense of questioning, of confusion, of anger. I met him on the road, your friend. I'll find him and see that he answers for what he's done to you. For a moment, the spirit seems to burn bright, and your head fills with a sickly triumph. The spirit seems to weaken with the force of its own exultation, growing fainter and fainter until you are alone once more. Okay. Well, that was the bear cave. Now there is this little kind of spot in the middle here. Huh? Oh, let's go. See. I'll see what I can find. There's a Zarep. Okay, three Zarep. Yeah, I'm not super worried about Zarep. Needs more intellect. Make that AoE go gigantic. That's what I'd love to do with it anyway. Probably could have taken those on our own. Oh my goodness. Are there are enough weapons. Agate, yes, both of them. And the tongues. And that tongue. And what's on this guy? Quarter staff? Added cap. It's Veth? And money. Mm. 
are large enough to appear to be the ribs and vertebrae of a dragon. Okay, I think that's actually like all of this map then. Yeah, they're not in scouting mode, so they're running. Running, running, running. We'll go deal with the uh, end of the Tenfirth quest and uh, see if we can seek. Um, where's the. Oh, there's the button. Like, where's the button to move? Yes, it'll take eight hours. Okay, let's see. I think were they in they were in Ingrid's house, right? Norton or it looked to me like Naughton. Naunton. Yeah, run. Creepy ash tree. Are they still here? Because they were planning to leave. Yeah. Okay, let's see how this situation pans out. Hail, traveler. I know what really happened in that bear cave. Yeah, it says Naunton, not Norton. I've seen it written somewhere as Norton, but I guess that person must have been reading it wrong. The color drains from Naunton's face. I don't know what you mean. I told you the truth of it. Are you accusing him of something? Ingrid looks to Naunton, touching his arm. If this is about the accident, we're both grieving Pearlie's loss, but it was a wild animal's doing. Hey, hey, we get the passionate one because we have 14 resolve. Fine, I can... Naunton flinches, but meets your gaze. After a moment, he sets his jaw and nods. It's kind of weird because it says Ingrid there. <laughs> Should say Naunton. Fine, I confess. I did it. I saw to it he'd never leave that cave. His hand falls to the, his sword belt, and I'd do it again. Naunton, wait. I don't know what you saw in that cave, but this isn't what you think. Pearly, my husband, he was as much a beast as that bear. I tried to leave the first time I suffered his temper, but he wouldn't have it. She looks away, expression pained. Naunton, he... We met, and I knew I'd found someone special, someone kind, who cared for me. Please, all I want, all we want is to leave this place, to start somewhere else. We... We've some coin saved up. You could have it, if only you'll, if you'll only let us go. <clears throat> Dang it. Kind of like, I'm taking this to the Magistrate. Uh... The problem is, this isn't really a Barbarian Berserker situation. But we're also a Barbarian, and not really like a law and order type of guy. If we were a paladin, it would be like, no, we're going to take this to the magistrate. So I guess we'll be like, hand it over. Fifty copper. That's what a man's life is worth. That. Mm, yeah, that was respectable there. Mm -hmm. Let's all get out. Let's go finish Tenfrith's little questy here. These load screens are nothing compared to Bloodborne. <laughs> Although, supposedly, they're going to patch that this week. And we'll have something better. Well, that situation will be better. Probably not good enough that I can stop cutting out the uh, loading screens, but... They won't be so Good painful when I'm actually playing. Hello, and welcome to the... Oh, it's you! Tenfrith told us what you did for him. It's such a relief to have him back. I can't thank you enough. Consider yourself a favorite of the house. Discounts on drinks, rooms, 
Tinfrith said he wanted to whip up something nice for you. He's already back to work in the kitchen. So, what would you like? Let's see what we have here. Oh, so yeah, that's about 37 cheaper. That's looks like that's about the same. No discounts there. Small discount here on on the items. Okay. We got more XP. That still didn't... Yeah, it's kind of like the party gained 1360. But because we're like four people... Right. Hey, it's Tenforth. Ah, it's you, my savior. It's so good to be back. Do not think I will let this go unrewarded. I have decided that you have earned the right to learn one of my most closely guarded secrets, my dearest recipe. After this, you will eat nothing else. A savory pie to keep you hale and hearty. May it serve you well in your travels. Well, all right, we gained a recipe, savory pie. The fact we actually go into like the inventory crafting thing, we now have the savory pie recipe, which takes grain, beer, and meat. Speed instant effects, plus 10 max endurance, plus 1 might, plus 1 perception for 150 seconds. Hmm. I'm still not sure how good many of those would actually be. Plus 3 move speed for 30 seconds. Plus 20 deflection until damaged. Oh. Well, alright folks. This has been Pillars of Eternity. I have been Atreus Monk. And next time... We'll leave here and go somewhere we have not been before, for certain. Until then, please enjoy. Bye-bye.